Hey, so today I will show you how to build an overwater bungalow in Minecraft. Looking at this picture, as you can see that it's a perfect build for the summer. And it could also be a fun way for you and your friends to all have your own houses in the water. I'm not gonna keep you waiting, so let's start with the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna do is just build sort of like a column from the water into the surface using stripped jungle wood. Now what you're gonna do is just follow this entire floor plan that I'm gonna create. This is a very easy build, it's nothing too crazy, too hard. You just have to like follow all the steps correctly and hopefully it's going to turn out the same way that it looks in this video. But of course you gotta keep following. Now I'm just going to replace these colorful blocks with the same block that I use, which is the stripped jungle log, I think. And now I'm just gonna fill all this in with the floor. Before I do that, I'm actually going to go and extend these columns down into the water to make sure it's more realistic. And now I'm gonna fill it in with the, the spruce floors. Also, you can definitely notice that my video looks a little bit different. If you've watched my previous videos, if you've already been subscribed to me, you know that my videos all have shaders. I really cannot play Minecraft with shaders, but I don't know, recently I've been having some computer problems, my, my games have been crashing, lagging a lot, stuttering. I feel like even my processor and my graphics card has been used so much and it's getting really like... It's been getting overheated and stuff. I don't know what's happening. I, I, ho I hope it's not a virus or anything like that. But I don't know. I've been struggling with like games lately because they're all sort of lagging and stuff. And I mean, I don't really have the best computer. I have like a GTX 1050 Ti, 16 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen 5 processor. So it's, it's, a, it's an okay computer, but like, I don't know. I'm looking to upgrade in the future. Maybe this is just a sign that I should upgrade soon. But who knows, I'll see what I can do. For now, this is what I have and I'm just gonna continue making videos on this computer. But that means I might not be able to film all these videos with shaders. However, as you saw those screenshots in the beginning of the video, they were, of course, with shaders. So I'm still gonna be able to take some pictures with shaders to sort of give you that vision as well. Okay, now we are pretty much doing the walls. Sorry for sort of like going off topic. We are now gonna focus more on the build. So as you can see, I'm doing this wall. By now you should have followed all these different steps that I was doing, building all these different walls. And now very soon we are going to move onto the roof. Before we do that, we're going to create this wall, which is very open. The thing with these overwater bungalows is that they're actually very like open and they let that air inside because you just want to feel that ocean breeze while you're there. So that's exactly why we have like a very big opening on that other wall. And now we are doing the roof. So with the roof, I'm using the hay block. I know it's not really the prettiest block in the game. I could have used something else, but nothing really felt light and organic like hay, so I just decided to use it. Also, if you are new to this channel, welcome, of course, and you should definitely like this video if you are gonna do this tutorial or this build in your Minecraft game, or if you just like the video. Also, you can subscribe as well if you want to stay tuned as well for all my upcoming content. I would definitely appreciate that. And if you've watched my recent videos, you can definitely tell that I was, I've was i been doing a lot of other content. I haven't been only doing Minecraft. I 
have decided to do some other games as well. So lately I've been playing this cool game called Stray, which I am going to continue playing. I'm gonna do a couple more parts of the game, and yes, I hope you enjoy it as well. Now we're doing the bathroom, as you can see. Now I'm in the first person, which is way easier to follow. So just follow all the steps carefully. And if you cannot stand me talking, well, you can mute the video anytime. So now we're just gonna clean up this ceiling because of course inside I kinda wanna make everything look nice and pretty. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm adding some white concrete inside because those walls in this sort of over water bungalows are usually white inside. I don't know what they're made out of, but I know they're white. Also, just recently I hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel, which is really amazing. And yes, I really just appreciate all the support and all the people being subscribed. And let's just push to 20,000. I don't know. I never really, well, let's be honest, I did see this channel hitting 10,000 subscribers at some point, but I didn't think it was going to be this soon, so thank you so much. If you want, you can also make this bathroom a bit more private, but I decided to put some dividers. Now we are just doing the kitchen. The kitchen is pretty cool looking, kind of modern. The white definitely ties with the white walls in this bungalow. And of course, because it's a very, very small house, there isn't enough space to put everything and make it like nice and big. So I'm just kind of putting everything where it should be. The bathroom is also cute. It's, you know, it's small. It's a small bathroom, but it does its job. This is the sleeping area, and I'm gonna put a picture of naked people on top, and now this is going to be like a little sitting area, nothing special. Yeah, like there isn't a lot of space in this house, but I think the lack of space makes it more cozy. Now of course we're just cleaning up and covering these blocks from below, so it looks nice and tidy. And now we are doing one of the main features of this house, which is the back porch, or whatever it's called. So this, I think this is like what sells these homes whenever you go on these vacations and you want to go to the like um, overwater bungalow. This is exactly what these homes are about. They usually have a hammock in the, in the back, they have a pool, and I don't know, I think it's really pretty. It's a good way for just, it's a good place to sunbathe and to relax. So on the right side we have a hammock design, whatever it is, and on this side I'm gonna build some stairs so you can go down and I guess like jump into the water. Before I do that I'm just gonna cover this up as well. It's all about making everything look clean. I'm gonna add a little boat so you can just drive around in the pool, I mean in the water, in the ocean. Now I'm gonna add some lounge chairs, of course. Some lanterns to light up the space at night, and of course add water in the pool. And you can already see how pretty it looks, like it's a very relaxing spot, really nice. And of course, to top it off, I'm just gonna add some leaves, make it more lively. And it already looks much better.
So that's pretty much that. Now, before we end this video, I'm going to pretty much copy all these houses, uh, add a couple of them as well, and I'm gonna connect all of these different overwater bungalows with like some sort of bridges. This is usually how it's done in Bora Bora and I don't know, all these tropical islands where you have a bunch of these overwater bungalows forming a resort. So you have all of them connected and they're a really nice place to stay at for a couple of days. And of course I'm just gonna add some columns to the bridges so they, you know, can stand and not fall off. And there we go, this is pretty much it. Here's a little tour of the house that we just finished. And I really hope you like this video. I'm sure your house as well turned out really great. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye!